You can download the apps in the video for free. Link in the description. To translate UI in Godot, we first need to create a spreadsheet that will hold all the words and languages. We need a new Google Sheet. Inside, we ignore the first box. Then along the top is where you put all the names of languages that you want. The name can be whatever you like. Just keep in mind that we will use it later in Godot. Then along the left, we put words that will appear normally in your game that you want to translate. For example, I just have the word hello, as that is what appears in one of my labels. Keep in mind that capitalization does matter. So make sure that this word is capitalized in the same way as it appears in your game. Then on the right, we write the translations of this word. Basically, the first First value acts as the key, and we will grab the respective translation based on what is the currently selected language. And the key is what you type inside the Godot editor inside your label nodes. Once your spreadsheet is complete, go to File, Download, and select Comma Separated Value or CSV. Then drag that downloaded file into your Godot project files in the same way that you would put images and audio files in your Godot project. Once inside, Godot should automatically create a file for each language. Now go to Project, Project Settings, under Localization, select Add. Then you can select the file, and to speed things up so you don't have to add them separately, hold down Shift and select the last file, then press open. This will add all the different languages. Now to test that everything works correctly, first make sure that the text of the label that you are translating is the same as the key value or the leftmost text in the spreadsheet. Then go to view, preview translation, and you can choose any of the values. This is English, Japanese, and Spanish. Once you have confirmed all the languages work properly, we can now begin to translate the text of your game while it's running inside of any script that you want to handle the translations. To set the translation of the entire game, you can grab the translation server, call set locale, and pass one of the languages that you created earlier. Keep in mind this must be spelled correctly. Additionally, you will only need to call this once when updating the language, as this won't reset even if you change scene and load a different level. To translate a specific node and not the entire game, grab the node with the text that you want to translate, then grab its text and set it to translation server.get translation object, which will grab the values of the respective language that you put in the brackets. Then you use get message, passing the text or key value that you want to grab the translation of. Additionally, if you want to add a variable value without ruining the translation or the key, you can just add a string with the value you want to add at the end. This can be handy for score counters and such, and in the case of you are using set locale on the entire game and still want to add a variable to one of the nodes with text, simply grab the node, its text property, and set it to the function tr, passing the key that you want to grab the translation of, then add the variable that you want to add at the end of the text. Now you have simple translations that you can add to any of your Godot games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.